I want to share with you today uh, a tip that I heard from my wife actually as she was uh, working with a group of women in a uh, uh, marriage uh, mentoring training session. She presented this this marriage relationship tip in the form of a question and she said, have you ever or when was the last time that you prayed for your spouse? And the reaction was like, well, initially it was crickets you know, or deer in the headlights. <laughs> and the people were just kind of speechless, dumbfounded. Uh, finally, uh, one woman responded and said, that is so simple. I can't believe I've never thought of that before. If you're not really um, that religious, that, that prayer is something that you think about or do, um, there's there's other ways. You know, unofficially you can pray. Like like meditation is, is just another form of prayer in some way. So just to do something every day that focuses your thoughts and your feelings and your energies in behalf of your spouse it is an amazing tip and it's also amazing that so many people knowing of prayer and meditation have not really focused much of their prayer and meditation time in behalf of their spouse. There's actually a verse in the Bible that says, pray for those who despitefully use you and persecute you. <laughs> now, I feel sorry about this, but uh, I think a lot of us have experienced uh, in our relationships that our spouse sometimes fits that category. They despitefully use and persecute us, right? So, and I know the, the natural response is an eye for an eye, right? I'm going to treat them the way they're treating me. But the better way is to pray for them. And I would recommend that you resist the temptation to to pray like God please bless my spouse that they will see the error of their ways <laughs> that that might okay if you have to start there that's probably better than not but I think the real key in this is just that you focus your your thoughts your feelings your energy in their behalf that they will experience joy and fulfillment in their work and duties and that they will feel success and accomplished, that they will feel loved and accepted. Those kinds of feelings build relationships. There's my recommendation. Um, we could spend a whole lot more time talking about this, but we just found that a lot of people um, aren't utilizing this small, simple thing to make a difference. And so try that out. Um, spend a little bit of time every day focusing your thoughts and your feelings and your energies. That, and, and you'll find that it's it, more than changing your spouse because we know that you can't change someone else. But when you spend time every day focusing your thoughts and your feelings, your energies in behalf of them, in, for their welfare, for their benefit, uh, you find that the biggest change happens in you. And really that is the only way you have any hope of changing your spouse is changing yourself. So try the small and simple thing of, of praying for your spouse and just take note of how you feel, the difference that it's going to make about how you feel about your spouse uh, when you can focus your prayers in their behalf.